This first piece is called Understanding. Every bruise, fat lip, I understood. You didn't mean it. Wrong time to be me. Taking my dreams, making them jokes, until I cried from the ridicule. Stop dreaming. I understood before the tears dried. How dare I dream? Could you? I followed you around. We took the bus downtown. Company to get away, even for an hour, from your aggravation, the strain. Your feet dangling under the seat. Sometimes you talk, even smile. Your solid grip would slacken the farther we got from home. Shopping for what we couldn't buy, you'd sigh. <sighs> Maybe one of these days. Then we'd share fries, coffee, laughed a bit. I became your best friend. I understood when you threw that punch, then said to me, look what you made me do. Your face, like you lost your best friend. You didn't. I always forgave. You scrubbed floors for others, worked all seven days, never complained, even took pride in that, just so we can have a little bit more. I never told you what it meant to me. It was understood. I got a job to give you money you wouldn't take for the bills that were always late. I understood when the punches came. Your burden was great. Your bones ached. You needed rest and I was laughing and playing games. I hid the bruises as best I could. Answered no questions about my face. They wouldn't understand my fate and what I was doing for you and why I always forgave. Thank you. Wow. Thank you very much. This one is called Treasure. Diamonds and platinum worn since her wedding day unwillingly slides over her arthritic finger. He makes a vain attempt at gallantry. Don't leave that on your finger. We'll figure something out, he says to the floor. Tears on her face, broken heart in her throat. She says, there's no other way. The kids can't sleep in the rain. Just take what you can get. He looks over at the kids, bravely forgetting it's Christmas. Puts the ring in his pocket, straightens his back as best he could, then steps into the rainy night, trying not to hear his wife's silent tears. Wow. Thank you. This one is called No Name. We've walked past this man a thousand times. I was a child once. Dreams floated on wings of butterflies. I had a name. Now, I make my living from your pity. Ignore your disdain. I care for what you spare, not your opinions of my fate. Beyond hope, I sleep in a heap with all I own, on a train, in the street, any place, free. The cup rattles in your ear, my stench reaches for you, clears the coins from your purse. Don't acknowledge the man, you'll give me what's earned. My blisters aren't from exposure, I don't shiver because it's cold. I kiss the glass lady. She burns my mouth. I've sold my soul. Don't judge. For when I lay with her, my smell evaporates. My rags, gossamer sails. I drift among clouds. I leave color for trails. I am young again. Have a name. Thank you. Wow.
This last one is called Pride. I sat on stone steps in our prison of poverty, hallway reeking urine, dreaming privacy. My books, the only friends brought home without shame. Their words comfort from the loneliness, tears, the pain. At school, those insults flowed freely. I bore their slander valiantly, walking away to cry alone as their tr triumphant laughter droned. I shed bitter tears. Returning to my stone sanctuary, I rose above our poor reality. Behind closed eyes, popularity, white picket fences, a boyfriend in fancy dresses, noble but weary, pride was solitary. I allowed a friend or two, those angels of awkward teenagers who see past the ravaged skin and your shabby clothes and find those hearts within. I took the long way home, waited in parking lots, made excuses. I can't have company when no one's home. Why don't I just meet you there? My charade, my charade was ended by youthful curiosity, smiling and full of surprises. She came knocking on our door, pity on an angel's face, a tough cross to endure. Thank you.